Hello, Orchid friends. Welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today, we're looking at my Phalaenopsis belina. This is one is a regular cultivar. I have another one that is wild form. This one is probably one of my favorite orchids in my collection because of its fragrance. Bellina is also a very easy orchid to grow, um, so I totally recommend anybody interested in orchids getting a Bellina to try it out and see if it's for you. So going back in time, this orchid had bloomed two other times before. When I first got this orchid, it was just a near blooming size orchid. It has never bloomed before, and under my care, it has bloomed twice, two other times. And this year, it grew out one new spike. And in total, this orchid gave me three flowers this time around. Obviously, when this orchid was in buds, I did my best not to move this orchid around. The main reason for that is I want to avoid bud blast. I have always received this question about how to avoid bud blast and based on my experience for the orchids in my collection, there are four different reasons why bud blast may happen and that I, I've shared those reasons in many of my videos before but essentially if you move it around too much when it's in buds and if the temperature or humidity fluctuation happens and then the fourth one is if the orchid's overall health is in jeopardy. So when this orchid was in bud, I didn't move it around. And because I know this orchid requires a quarter cup of water each time. So I simply add the water to, into the container and just let it be. Uh, that, that's how I basically make sure I don't move this orchid around. You know, I don't want to take it out take it out of the pot, look around, and then move it, or, or even move it to any, any other place in my house. Not until it's in bloom anyways. <laughs> so this orchid, obviously Bellina fragrance, I think most of you are already familiar with Bellina's amazing fragrance. And I have to say, it's really sweet, really sweet fragrance. I love it. Um, some people have actually commented that this Bellina's flower doesn't look like typical Bellina flowers, and I'll tell you why. Because this orchid is still a hybridized Bellina. It's, it's a cross between, if you look at the label, later I think you may, you may be able to see the label in, uh, in a, uh, the segment later. It's Bellina blue, white petals crossed with Bellina joy. So the seller took the two Bellinas that they like and, and formed this one. So this may be a reason why the Bellina flowers just don't look like the typical Bellina that you, you know, like the true nature species that you find in the wild. That's okay because Bellina in it, you know, in itself has many different kinds of cultivars. You know, Sometimes it's color variation, sometimes it's the shape of the flower that's different. And why I got this one, not because of the flower, it was just because at that time the price was affordable and I wanted a Bellina, regular Bellina badly, so I ordered it. <laughs> and then um, later I also came across the, the wild form, so I purchased that as well. So this workout, as you can see here, it is growing nicely. Another thing I love about this orchid is its leaf. Its leaf is wide and rounded. So I really like that about this orchid. The only thing I would criticize about this orchid is it doesn't have that many leaves. And I know they only grow maybe one leaf a year, but still having four leaves, I feel it's not enough. So next year, or as soon as the flowers are done, I may have to adjust the fertilizer and see if I can help this orchid grow more leaves. Um, and here it's in semi-hydro, as you can see, lots of roots are already at the bottom. So that's a very good sign. I do have some area roots. So at some point, if I ever have to repot this orchid, I'll, I'll have to make sure I 
plant back, plant those aerial roots back into the medium. The other Bellina that I have also was originally in semi hydro, but I had to change it out uh, because it was struggling in semi hydro. Um, but this one somehow it just never had any problem with semi hydro, so I'm gonna continue the this method, this setup, until I, you know, have a reason to change the setup for this orchid. And in terms of care, this orchid also gets 25%. Um, fertilizer and that is quarter strength fertilizer this orchid seems to be doing just fine with a really relatively weak fertilizer um, it's doing just okay um, I really don't have a whole lot of complaint about this orchid other than I wish that it would have more leaf count I know there are many different types of Bellina out there, so for those of you who are interested in collecting Bellina, you can definitely look for the Cerulea type. Um, there might have been a Indigo type that I saw somewhere. Um, and then you can also collect like different strength and then different color form. Like this one, the petal sepal, the flower is pretty flat, but then I've seen some belly nest that will completely arch back and then the wild form which is one you see on the left in the background there there are many different types and color um, variations that you can get but i can tell you not every single one is cheap so you do have to decipher yourself if you want to get a mature plant from someone or you want to grow from younger seedling plant and for younger i mean they're young and it may take you two to three years to see its first bloom. So that's just something you may have to decide for yourself if you want to do that. You know, start from a young plant, for example. And then coming up, I have a bonus footage. This is the footage that I included in many of the videos um, of these, these orchids because not everybody sees every single video from my channel and I want to make sure that you guys have a glimpse at the, this video clip and that is a lot, you know, three Bellinas and then three of my Valacias. They're all different types. Um, they were all in bloom at the time so I thought I would include a short clip to give you a view into what I was having. It was very festive when they were all in bloom and very very fragrant this is all i have for you today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel please subscribe and turn on the notification i want to wish you happy growing and i will talk to you in my next video ciao